The fabric of the game, then the obvious output was the Taylor report, um, which forced all the clubs to transform stadia and go all seater. Um, and there's no question that that was one of the major drivers behind the formation of the Premier League. That's not overstating the case, um, because it was the need to find the money to invest in the stadia um, that, that led to a lot of the uncertainty and the, and the, and the clubs needing change. So you, you could certainly say there was a direct link um, between the aftermath of Hillsborough and the creation of the Premier League. From the club's point of view, um, those who died will, will always be remembered. Um, I, I think the fact that we, we don't want to play ever on the 15th of April is massively significant and very pleased this year that, that in the event UEFA were supportive um, because I think the memorial service um, at Anfield is, is where we get together with the families and supporters and, and everybody shares their grief. It's a very special moment for all of us at the club and, and, and hugely important. I think the club will always support um, the families in the desire to find the truth. Um, the reason being, I think, it's, I, I think it's incredibly difficult for those who were most deeply affected to find closure until there's actually been an answer. While there are questions unanswered, then you know, it, it's extraordinarily difficult for people to find closure and move on, and therefore entirely understandable um, that questions are still in people's minds. Um, it's, it's trite and it's wrong to say it's 20 years, so we should move on. Um, you know, th there is still a quest for truth, and, and we will support that. I was, will have been watching uh, Match of the Day, I think. I was, it was like watching Match of the Day, and um, couldn't believe it. It's almost like watching the Twin Towers thing. You know, the, I remember my wife when the Twin Towers happened, my wife said, come and watch television, and we went down to watch it. And, you sort of can believe it, you know, and it's sort of happening, this sort of horror happening in front of you, thinking, oh, it'll be all right, you know, it's just a crush, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be okay. You, you really couldn't foresee the disaster and the pain, because it didn't look like it, you know, it kept sh moving to other shots of other people crying and seeing what was going on and waving, and there was a sense that it, it wasn't really happening, can't be true. It was disbelief, really, that turning into horror uh, and anger, sorrow, all those things. I don't know, it seems like sort of sometimes Liverpool is that sort of city that, you know, that when bad things happen, yeah, as, as bad things happen everywhere, it shakes the city. You know, everybody's involved, everybody feels the pain. If I can go back, and I don't do equate things, but, the, you know, the Reece, you know, the murder recently, the, you know, the Reese Jones and that, that murder, and people feel, uh, um, the whole city feels it, you know. It's your city and you belong, and that's why, you know, blue and red scarves tied together. That's what people did, you know, it's, it's a, a grief that gets to everybody, I think. It's, um, it's funny, isn't it? You look back on, the, on those days and you think of Adrian Henry's poem and a lot of... It did spawn a lot of good poetry and good poems that came out of genuine disbelief and, and grief in it. And I think you look back and you, you, you recall the sort of carnage we also remember the, you know, the flowers everywhere, you know, the, the altar, um, the outpourings of grief that were genuine. And um, without being mawkish, it's all these things sort of bring the city together, that common bond and sharing of the sorrow, as well as the anger that still goes on 20 years later and people still haven't been recompensed or no one's admitted to it or said they're sorry. And, um, you know, it's still that, that sort of black hole. In some ways, you can really think of Liverpool Football Club almost like before Hillsborough and after Hillsborough. Of course, the club doesn't spend every minute of its day thinking about Hillsborough, but it's there and it's there all of the time. And it's part of what makes Liverpool what it is now. Um, and, and so, it, it, if you like, it is literally almost part of the very fabric of, of Anfield and the club. Well, at Anfield, of course, we have the, the Hillsborough Memorial. Just beside the Shankly Gates, which bear those great words, you never walk alone, which were put up in 81, there is um, the living flame and the names of the 96 who died at Hillsborough. And this is on the, the Anfield Road end of the stadium. 
Uh, every time we have a home match, it's just completely filled with tributes. But of course, as we move towards each anniversary of the terrible event of Hillsborough, the, the tributes are, are, are extensive, to say the least, and very moving. It's uh, very important for, for a great many people, but also what, uh, and obviously it has huge significance, obviously, for, for, for friends and family. But you notice, for instance, so when we have a game, the away supporters, many of them will leave their own scarves and things beside the, the Hillsborough Memorial, because everyone can understand this isn't about football rivalry, this is about people's lives. And so it's, um, it's a very important uh, monument, to say the least. The club's centenary was in 1992, and at that point, the then club secretary, Peter Robinson, made a decision that they would review the club crest and uh, make a permanent uh, memorial, if you like, to the victims of Hillsborough in the club crest. And they put, in effect, a, a living flame, one on either side of, of the crest. Along the top of the crest, um, this section of the Shankly Gate saying you never walk alone was put there. So whilst that you could say represents uh, a, a tribute also to Bill Shankly, it also serves as well um, to, to give that you know hope if you like you know that you never walk alone is a very hope-filled song but tends to also have a, a be underlaid with tragedy. So you've got you never walk alone and and the living flames on either side of the badge and of course to this day um, that 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 remains and um, I think it was right and proper that Liverpool did that. <laughs>